Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by our Teespring store, so click on the link pinned in the comments below. Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Mark Funer, 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 is expected to hand a sustainable fishery policy to Parliament very soon. As of recording, there is no legislation or legalisation addressing ghost gear in Queensland's waters and Mark wants to change that. We've had a lot of Mark stories this week. We have, yeah. So basically, Mark, proposes that companies have their names and addresses marked clearly on their equipment. <laughs> so that way, if it's found in the ocean, creating ghost gear, they can actually trace it back to the company and then smack them with a fine. I can see one way around this. As soon as you get on the boat, put someone else's name on it. Uh, anyway, Mark believes that doing this will actually be a great deterrent uh, and some, uh, and actually stop some of the big fishing companies just, you know, cutting a line free when it gets snagged. Uh, yeah. Of course, this is gained massive support, and the main team that wants to help push the new policy through is the World Animal Protection Australia. Crikey, mate. Wappa. Wappa. <laughs> That's a very Australian. Now, <laughs> we're Wappa, mate. Wappa. Anyway, yeah, as we all know, go down the door. <laughs> Wappa! Wappa agents! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my life. Yeah, anyway, as we all know, ghost gear is, you know, a massive problem in the world's oceans, and all governments need to take action like this to help stop the threat of ghost gear. Even if it doesn't stop it, you know, the gear having companies' names on it and the addresses, clearly, you know, so then action can be taken. So yeah. it's, a, it's a step. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah, I really do hope that this new policy actually goes through and other countries kind of learn and follow suit. Mm. Um, it's another, like, stream of revenue that you can find people on, guys. Um, I mean, this sort of thing worked when banning plastic straws. Did they? Did they make people print their names on the side of plastic straws? No, but what I'm thinking, like, so when it, when it went into the approach, so people started pressurizing. Social pressure. Social pressure. So because of that, you know, you know McDonald's, Starbucks, that sort of thing, like plastic straws are going, which is great. Sadly, they're being replaced with NAF. Paper cardboard straws. straw, they're awful, but it's I'd rather have them than plastic, so yeah. Um, so yeah, this will hopefully work and it's gonna bring ghost gear into a wider yeah, audience exactly that are more aware of it. So. Um, but what do you guys think about all of this? Will adding company names and addresses to fishing gear really work? Uh, I think it will definitely help. Mm, um, it's better than nothing if yeah. that it'll make them think twice. Instead of just, oh, it's snagged, we could or, like reverse a couple miles. Rather than actually having the names up there, you can go a bit more complex. So within, woven into, this is kind of a bit, bit, bit Blade Runner-y. So if you've seen Blade Runner 40, <laughs> 2049, there's a code in the net. Yeah. And then that code is noted to who the company sold it to. Yeah, like a serial number yeah, so running it's a, through the strand. Yeah, serial number running through the strand. So then, you know, then people aren't gonna be cutting off their, their mm. companies or anything. So you have that in the strand. Yeah. And then when it's found, you can look it through a microscope. There's a serial number that tallies with the company. And then that you go to that company and go, yeah, we sold that to, you know, simply scuba. <laughs> Yeah, we do lots of trawling. Mate, it's terrible. <laughs> Our trawling is the worst. Uh, anyway, let's have a chat about ghost gear in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then uh, you know what? Why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies, do all the social media clicky buttony things. Share the story, share That's it. it. They're, they're all free, it doesn't cost you anything, just to go click. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and safe diving. Bye. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.